Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot love reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. Personal reading information and anything else seen will be linked and listed. Every Any information you need will be linked and listed. So we are going to be jumping right in for Gemini. Love energy is coming towards them, surrounding them, whoever's on their mind. What do they need to know? Most important messages for Gemini, love energy surrounding them, coming towards them. Justice card, Libra energy, Major Arcana, your first card out. You could be dealing with the Libra. Some of you might be dealing with legal matters surrounding a specific uh, relationship, marriage, most likely. Or it could just be dividing up of assets, common law. Page of Pentacles, Earth sign energy could be important to you. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate the patience in advance. What else do we have for Gemini regarding love? Energies coming towards them, surrounding them, whoever's on their mind. What do they need to know? See that? Flipped out. Two of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Can you see? Yes, you can. What else do we have for Gemini here? Yeah, for some of you, there is a divorce here. There is a divorce, a separation, a ending to a long-standing relationship that you may have had with somebody. It won't be for everybody, but for some of you, that is the case with the Justice card and the Ten of Pentacles. What else do we have for Gemini? What do they need to know? Love energy is coming towards them, surrounding them, whoever's on their mind. Something has ended here with this ten of pentacles something that there was a lot of potential or the goal the aim was to be together for a long time queen of wands fire sign energy aries leo or a sagittarius could be important to you one more card for side for gemini please okay and the six of swords moving on moving forward definitely seems to be the case here so this does seem like someone you already have some dealings with. Bottom of the deck is Leo Energy, this Sun card. Happiest card in the deck. Whatever it is you're leaving behind, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. It is blocking you from happiness. It's blocking you from being in flow. It's blocking you from abundance. It's blocking you from joy. All right, with the Justice card and the Ten of Pentacles, some of you are separating, whether that is legally married or been living with someone combined you know life's life with someone it's separating that dividing who gets what creating some sort of balance there could be legal proceedings for some of you and if that's the case you're going to get what it is you're entitled to however side of the coin you flip on you are going to get what you're entitled to that could be everything maybe if you some of you want the house with this Ten of Pentacles, that is long-term stability, legacy energy. So some of you might be wanting the house, most likely could be getting that. Whatever it is you're seeking, you might be getting. In your present energies, the two, the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, there's something new here and you're not looking back. For those of you that are experiencing an ending, even if it's to a relationship that you thought was gonna last a very long time, it was karmic. It was a karmic relationship, it was not meant to last. With that justice card being there, the cycle is now over. You've learned the lesson, you've got the t-shirt, it's time to move on. So naturally, this person's going to be removed from your life. No more, donezo, bye-bye. We, we, we've we settled business here. Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, looking for the new, getting stellar, getting her groove back. Very much so with the Queen of Wands, male or female, it does not matter. This is feminine energy. We're not chasing anything. Whatever is for us will come to us. But it does look like there might be something or someone that catches your eye or someone has their eye on you. You might not even be aware of the way this is looking. This page of Pentacles is very much like an admiration energy. He's very much, you know, enamored with this coin, intrigued, uh, curious, wants to learn more. I don't think you're seeing this, though. For some of you that have gotten out of something, there's already someone new that has their eye on you. You seem to be coming off very um, magical, very attractive, very fiery, very confident, very uh, creative, extremely intuitive too. But I don't think you are aware that someone new has their eye on you. It could be an earth sign. Someone could be someone younger too, younger than you. Not immature, but just younger in age. 
the two of swords and the six of swords in your future energy whoever this person is they i they might be a bit intimidated the two of swords is energy of not following the intuition not wanting to see what's right in front of you kind of being at a crossroads needing to make a decision but not knowing which one to choose or it could be some sort of you might not have your heart space open just yet that is why you're not seeing anything new there is a moving on that needs to happen emotionally here, mentally and emotionally. The Six of Swords is moving forward, you know, moving forward from a time that was not emotionally ideal, moving into a more calmer period. Looks like whoever this new person is, they want to help you move forward. Because there are multiple people in this Six of Swords card. They want to help you move forward, but I think you might be a bit closed off. Sun card, two of wands. Yeah, new contracts, new partnerships, expanding your horizons. Your horizon. <laughs> it's Mercury retrograde, okay? Two twos here as well. Yeah, there's a commitment here for you guys coming. Could be Taurus energy, major arcana, the hierophant. This person wants to commit. You're already being scoped out to commit again. And that could be why you don't want to move forward because you just got out of something. Even if it's just emotionally. Even if you're just finally getting over something, it happened 10 years ago, but you're now finally able to get over it. There's already someone that has their eye on you and they, they, they do want commitment. There is a commitment here on board, something that has the potential to make you happy, something that can help you grow, expand. I am also seeing the King of Wands underneath here. So we do have a true pair, King and Queen of Wands. Someone that is willing to put in the work. Someone that is willing to put in the work and very much your match. Very much your match. Some of you want this person or will want this person, but there will be a sense of like denial. Like, nah, I don't want to do this due to whatever this past situation is, this karmic cycle that has now ended. Whatever happened here, it might fog your vision a little bit. It's not letting you see things as accurately as they are because whatever this new opportunity is, it, it very much is in alignment with you. It's giving all good vibes and this person seems to want commitment. Also could maybe want children as well. Leo and Taurus energy could be important. I'm going to grab some romance angel oracles for you. What do we have for Gemini? Love energy is coming towards them. Guidance for Gemini regarding love. But this person's your match, my dear. Very much on your level. Still could be younger than you. Could be also an entrepreneur, someone that is very attractive. But they got the same mindset for the two of you to be showing up as king and queen of wands. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I guess this is a heads up for those of you that have not met this person yet because it is new. It is new. Do not let any sort of past bullshit that has happened to you stop you or block you from blessings. Because this is a blessing. This is very much what you've been wanting. Someone very much like you. But you got to move past this two of swords. Very much so. You got to move away from this being stuck energy. Or not following your intuition. Or choosing not to see what is right in front of you. Because it's very much stuck. Six and two is eight. We know what we say about the eight of swords, right? Wrapped in toilet paper, surrounded by swords. You are not a victim. You are not a victim. Okay? Of any past circumstances especially. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Very much that Queen of Wands energy. This is why this person's like, I gotta have her. Or him. You're very much standing in that self-respect energy. You're very much carrying yourself with a, with a different sort of caliber. So that makes you very magnetic. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini. Guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Love. What does Gemini need to know for love energies? I do only take tempers, so I appreciate your patience. If I didn't say that already, that one flew all the way out. I'll take this first top one here. Slow and steady wins the race, I also saw. So this person's willing to take their time. That's that eight of pentacles. They're not in any rush. The goal is you. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. And turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. So 
believe in yourself. Don't, uh, you know, fall back into victim mentality. Stay in this Queen of Wands sort of power energy, very sure, very confident, and very trusting of the, your own intuition. And give with gratitude and grace. So it is time to open up. You have learned a lesson. Number 61, which is a seven, 2023, is a seven year. So this could also be a time for you to receive after a period karmically of always just dishing out and maybe not getting much back in return. But this could be the one. Okay, Taurus, Leo, Fire Sign, Libra. Yeah. Gemini, that is your reading. Really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I will see you all next week.